Guys, there's a lot of shad out here this morning. We're gonna do something a little different. It's almost like a double fluke rig because it is two fluke rigs, but this is the infamous or famous high-low rig, okay? So basically, I have two flukes. These are from BioBaits. They're switchback and they're gizzard shad pattern. And the rig is so simple. It's almost like tying a drop shot rig. I had a, I have a hook on top right here, okay? And then you tie it on a polymer knot. And then bottom here, I got eighth ounce of jig head. And there you go, just put them both on and you go to town. There's a lot of bait fish jumping right now. And I'm gonna comb some water for them. It's 46 degrees surface temperature at 9, 15 a.m. So let's go get them. High low rig, salt water. Folks know this rig uh, very well. And they catch a lot of fish with it. And um, it's a crappy pe uh, fisherman use it as well. Oh yeah, really good. Here we go. Here we go. I got the bio bait right now on the switchback. Shad color. Whoa. Guys, first fish of the day is a Mondo. Mondo Monday. Let's go. Mondo Monday. Dude. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Come on. Mondo Monday. Let's go. Let's go. See that guy right there? Look at that. <laughs> Holy smokes. Look at that baddie. Check this out, man. Look at that. Mondo Monday bass on my high low rig. Okay. Both bio baits flukes. And we're gonna put this baddie right back in the water. So I get to swim off, continue feeding. There you go. Yeah. Right now I have a 15 pound test line on my bait caster and I have a 12 pound floral leader and all I do is just cast this out and twitch it and if you have bait fish especially you have deeper water like I'm fishing open today you twitching this will get you some nice strikes and let me get a closer look for you guys look at this darts really well I hope so. The other day was amazing. I had like over, over 30 fish. Did you really? Yeah. I see a bunch jumping around in here yesterday. Oh man, I missed out then, huh? Oh, okay. I went over here. Fish on! Look at that. There you go. Wow, another one. Really good size. Yeah, I said, I said, I seen a couple big ones in this area yesterday. <laughs> jumping around. I might just jump like this on my yard. Oh man. Look at that. Nice thank you, thank you. They're feeding up for that uh, winter, getting a fat belly. Oh, yeah. Look at that belly. Oh, wow. The one I just caught a second ago was uh, a little bit bigger than this. That's a nice fish. Thank you. Take a look at that, guys. Not too bad, eh? All right. They're, they're bigger. They got bigger ones. I know. That's what I'm trying to. My biggest out here is five pounds, three ounces. Okay. All right, in you go. Technique's easy, guys. You just go around, you look for those shads to swing around. Right now, it's pretty much early in the morning. So I'm looking for those stuff that's busting out. Any sort of uh, disturbance on the top of water, that's where I'm kind of honing towards. And right now, this area right here, I guess they're using this, uh, this wall here as a highway. And so I'm just gonna comb it, get their attention, and hopefully we'll catch a few more. But guys, you guys have to use this. You guys have to use this. Right, right next to me. Right next to me. This one, this one wants it. <laughs> oh, this guy has some spots on him. Good looking fish. 
Good looking fish, guys. Look at that. Man, this guy has a lot of those spots. Hey, hey, I just touched the hook. All right, look at this. Hold up. This is this one's photo worthy, but let me show you guys a quick view. Look at that. He has a spot on his gill, on his bottom fin too, and it's a yellow spot right there. Yellow spot. Top up here, up here too, has a yellow spot. Looks like kind of almost like an eye. He's trying to be a peacock bass, man. This is one hell of a pretty freaking fish. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those fins. Bottom part too. Look at these fins, man. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. We gotta keep covering water till we catch some bass. Now that side's a little shallower, so I'm gonna twitch it a few times. The retrieve is very simple. I just keep twitching it so that it keeps darting left and right, left and right. You don't just do straight retrieve, guys. This technique requires some twitching. You guys have to twitch this rig, so I recommend to have a fast tip action rod. I have a medium light, but a medium light or a medium is perfect. I have a bait caster, but spinning reel will be perfect as well. 15 pound test line and 12 pound leaders. Leader, this is fun. Set your drag a little lower and you know, enjoy the battle. Tons of fish to uh, catch in fall using this rig. If you guys know your bottom well, like well enough, like me, what you could also do is, especially in lower temperatures and slower times, is let your lure fall all the way to the bottom and then you bounce your jig off the bottom. It's almost like drop shot fishing now because you have your raised lure, right? And then you have the one that's bouncing off the bottom. And this is really, really effective in fall during, the, you know, the after transition where the fish are feeding heavily and also when it slows down. Because when it slows down too, when things get a little cold and some of the shad gets a little stressed out, they do die. You know, the early winter, there's a lot of dying shads. So uh, if you bounce it off the bottom, I guarantee you guys, there's two lures right there near the bottom, you will catch some fish. You'll likely catch it on a, the top one. Fish on, fish on. This one spot right here, guys, non-stop. Circle around, as you see, on my fish finder. And this time, guys, I got him on a top, top rig, top rig. And this is a zone back in, because potentially, there could be more right here. Could be more. There we go. Haha, <laughs> got one. Not a big one, but I knew I'd find him eventually. Hit the jig, hit the jig. All right, dude. Whoa, man, today is spot galore. This guy has even more spots than the other one. Look at that, they're getting dark. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, other side. Let me show you guys this side. Look at that, look at that. All right, out you go. Peace out, Spotty. Epic, epic session. Guys, I can't believe I landed that many fish. Earlier I was using a different lure. I was using a uh, tailspin jig that I created. You guys can see the overlay right there. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of bites, but they weren't really engulfing the entire lure. They were just biting the blades. But when I switched to these guys right here, you know, as you see, the hook's right here, the hook's right there. And they were pretty much eating it. And um, th this is again a great lure for fall and even spring during the pre-spawn. And like I said, it's good for winter time too when it slows down because you technically use this as a drop shot. That is if you guys have no weeds, no stumps at the bottom, you guys know where you're fishing at, at. you guys, you know, fish at near the bottom, hop, hop. Most likely you get hit on this one right here. But uh, fall is here, the bite is great. So what I'll do is I'll probably take this whole thing off. And if you guys don't want to have a crazy contraption like this, you guys could definitely fish just a jig head and any sort of flukes. The only thing I would recommend that you guys do instead is put a loop knot on here instead. That would allow this thing to dart and flutter and also it allows it to shimmy uh, when it's in slack line when you twitch it and it hit the, hit the maximum uh, apex of where the height of the lure is going to be in a water column. It's going to you know twitch, uh, twitch a little bit and uh, that's going to trigger some crazy bites. But anyway guys, I'm going to go back out there 
and slay some fish. Thank you for watching. Peace out.